Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Big Gun Show. In this episode we came to the Impulse shooting range in the center of Moscow to see how tough Russian body armor actually is. We got for you today a Granite 5A class body armor from Ratnik Battle Gear set. It is supposed to withstand 10 hits from the SVD rifle and we will see how resilient it actually is. We will use a whole range of NATO pistols and rifles like AR-15, FN SCAR and of course a couple of Russian guns. It's a 5A class armor plate that costs around $100 and according to producers it can protect a person from 10 direct hits from an SVD sniper rifle. On the inside it's comprised of a set of ceramic composite tiles and a composite substrate. The outer layer is covered with rubber and aramid coating. It is designed to destroy a bullet on impact while the inner layers are meant to hold the fragments. We got a classic 9 to start with. Glock 17, chambered with 9x19mm. It's time to roll. Okay, we destroyed one tile, ceramic tile, and there's no dent on the outside. Okay, moving forward, guys. Glock 35 for 40 Smith and Wesson. Okay. Hit it in the same spot. What do we have here? We totally destroyed the tile. We can clearly see the deeper layers of the armor. Let's move forward. And one of the coolest things we got today, guys, this is a Colt 1911, double barrel one. Never shot this gun before. And I'm really curious what we're gonna see next. 45 FCP, two rounds. And this thing is heavy. God damn it, I hit it in the same spot for the third time. Okay. No, it's still, it's still good. We haven't penetrated uh, the deeper layers. It's still solid. No dents, no damage, and I'm pretty sure nothing on the back side. Let's check something bigger. As my cameraman just screamed, this is a Desert Eagle, baby. Chambered with 44 Magnum. Okay. Okay. Let's try not to hit for the first time in the same spot. No, not the same spot. Okay. I'm curious what happened to this plate because this was the most powerful pistol armor we had for today. Let's see what happened to the armor on the back side. We got a huge dent. Maybe our rifles will leave the bigger ones, but we still have a strong dent. The plate is still operational. Oh, it's thin. It's pretty thin. So, we destroyed another ceramic tile. It's time for big guns. A classic Russian AK-74M. Chambered with 5.45 millimeter armor. Okay. I want to cut it out once again and see the dent on the back side. 
Nothing. Nothing changed. No more dents. Ceramic tiles. Stop the bullets. Well, let's see what NATO guns do to this thing. Another cool thing. Instead of NATO, AR-15. A direct rival of an AK-74. Let's see what it does to this body armor. Damn it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. It destroyed the ceramic tile. Still, no penetration, no more dents. The armor is still operational and we have to go further and take something bigger. Russian AK chambered with 762 by 39 millimeter rounds. A bit more powerful than two to three. Okay. Let's go. We hit it. I feel like it's all safe and sound. A bit more powerful. Yep. So the tile was destroyed. I can feel the deeper layers, Kivla. Uh, oh, this one is a bit more interesting. Damn it. Take a look. It scratched it on the backside. So the plate is pretty tight. We shot it multiple times. It's, I don't know, seven or eight shot we made today. Just. Oh, some lead. <laughs> some lead. Okay. So it scratched it a bit on the backside. Bullet had way more powerful, uh, had more power compared to previous ones and uh, I feel like we have we have a chance that one of our next shots will finally penetrate it we need some penetration folks we definitely need and now things I believe can finally penetrate this body armor plate this is a Belgian FN scar chambered with 308 armor and I believe after so many rounds, after so many shots, after so many destroyed tiles, we finally can go through it. Let's hit it in the upper part, okay? Sorry, buddy. That's all for the show. Let's see what happened. We hit it, right in the center, we got a huge hole inside of it, come on buddy, let's go, a huge dent, no clear penetration, it's, it's really sharp, but I'm, I'm surprised that it still withstands, we didn't hit the ceramic tile, we hit the deeper layers of this body armor plate, and still we have no penetration. It will definitely be a trauma, it will definitely be a concussion, but the bullet didn't go inside. So the inner rails, inner layers, the deeper ones finally stopped the round. I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm pretty amazed, pretty amazed by it. And we got one more guns. One of the Russian classic ones. Mosin the gun. Finally, 762 by 54 millimeter. Mosin the gun. I want to hit this body armor plate in the same spot we did with 308 and see well, whether or not we will finally get this penetration. Okay, buddy. 
Where'd the other boot? So, well, I'm not sure, but I think this one is the new one. This is the new dent. Yes. It's the thinner one. Here you can feel the lead. Here it's the deepest layer. I want to do this. Let's take this armor plate back there, cut it open and see everything that happened to the ceramics and to the deeper layers of the plate. Okay, it's time to open this thing up and see what happened to the ceramics and to other layers of this armor. By the way, maybe this is 308. Maybe this is the 308 round that made the biggest, the biggest dent. This one, the hardest one. So here you can see the amount of layers. The first one stops the ceramics. Stop the heat, the inner layers prevent it from going deeper. So there you have it guys, we showed you what it's capable of, we showed you the insides of the armor and you could have eyewitnessed the whole test, uh, the whole test on your own. That's it for today guys, thanks for watching, subscribe to our channel, likes and comments down below and I will see you next time, bye!